Now, so I'm in Kilpisjärvi and uh, it's quarter to nine and I started walking to Halti. Um, so uh, today I think I'm going to walk from Kilpisjärvi to Kuonarjoki and that should be around 20k. And uh, yeah, we keep going. You could say that the views are quite nice. That on the other side of the lake is um, Sweden. And there is sauna, at least a little bit of it. And the rest of it, it's just Lapland. Here we come to the first bridge. And we change from a nice path to a rock road. Yay! So, um, it is, I don't know, 17 degrees, so it's already really warm and tomorrow is meant to be a warmer day. So I'm going to be sweating, but at least all places that I'm planning to uh, stay, um, they're like either by a lake or by the river. So I could just go and get jump in the water, um, except that... My towel is like a size of a face towel, so it doesn't really dry. But we'll see. Um, I think I'm going, I, I believe that I'm going to the wrong way. But I don't really know because I don't really know where I am. I don't really know where I need to be going. So I'm just following these um, holes with the orange tip, which I'm meant to. But I still have a feeling that I'm going to the wrong way because I don't think I should be going past or towards Sana, which I'm actually going at the moment. So I'll just keep walking and I'll see where it brings me. If it doesn't bring me to Halti, <laughs> then I'm going to walk somewhere else for four days. So um, yeah, I keep walking. Well, that's it. I think I've been walking one kilometer to exactly opposite way because I wasn't supposed to be walking towards Sana and I'm literally on, not literally on the bottom, but I'm close to the bottom of Sana. Um, I am at the end of Tassel, whatever, something like that, lake, and I should be on the other side of the lake. I should, I should be on either side of the lake. And I'm, um, I'm on the west side of the lake. So let's walk back and try again. Now I'm on the right track. Um, I just walked like like two kilometers uh, all together to run way and back. Um, yeah, that's what happens um, when you're a tiny bit dyslexic. I was supposed to go to Saariärvi, so I walked towards um, Saanajärvi. Well, in fairness now, Saariärvi, it was behind all the other signs, so that's why I didn't see it. But I'm on the right track now, and if I walk 20 kilometers, 4 kilometers an hour, I'll be there in 5 hours. So, it doesn't really matter. I could because um, the nights are so bright and uh, it's actually cooler during the night time. I could just um, take a rest at some point in the afternoon and walk in the middle of the night because I'm able to see that. Um, but uh, we'll see what I do um, because that would mean that I actually would be able to take a good nap in the afternoon, but uh, 
yeah, I'll see what I do when I get there. Well, if we think about Maceta in Spain, um, at least there was trees, maybe possible to get a little bit of shade. Um, here, in somewhere in Kilpisjärvi, there is absolutely no trees. So I'm so um, sorry. At least there is a little bit of wind breeze. This is a lovely place to walk, just walk through all of those rocks. Uh, I don't know if, where they where did they come here, but I suppose this is some sort of like a um, bottom of the lake from the ice age. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been walking um, 8.6 kilometers now, so in the next three or four kilometers, maybe I will stop for lunch. Obviously, I've been snacking all the time, so I'm at the border of Finland and uh, Norway. Just for a second, we're just borrowing Norway in order to get um, halty in a straighter way. Um, I've seen nine people so far. Um, but they have all been walking back from Halti, so I'm still alone in here. Um, yeah, walking on the roads is so much easier than walking on the rocks, but sure, it is what it is. Um, I have a feeling that I might be getting a blister on the bottom of my foot, just like last year with these same shoes that I chose to wear this year even though I would have had my half the smaller other shoes that I was wearing in in Ireland and Spain but no, I had to put the shoes on that I got blisters last year so if I seriously put a blister during these four days, um, the shoes will be going. I will toss them away or maybe try to sell them, although I don't think I have the original insoles left, but I'll be walking with them maybe like max 300 kilo. Oh, but I was wearing them in Ireland before I moved back. Well, yeah, maybe I'll just toss them in the bin. Now, I think I got somewhere because there is cottages, cottages and a little bathroom out there and there is more over there um, so I believe that is the camp, not camping site but the camping area of Saariarvi um, which or where I'm not going to stop. So that mountain there, actually, this one, it awfully looks a little bit like Ben Balban in Ireland, and so the sauna over over there. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks like a little bit like Ben Balban as well. Um, which doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I came from where 
pessimistic. Well, I came from a person in the middle of the camp from somewhere here, back on the other side of the hill, and walked to the dead end somewhere there. Um, so I am about 12 kilometers now, and uh, the ground is really rocky. Uh, <laughs> My faces just laugh at them. Um, it has been really difficult for the ankles and my feet. Um, the shoe choice may not be the greatest one, but we'll see what happens. Um, what I was supposed to say, can't remember any anyway. I can't film in this way because I can't get my whole face in the picture or like you're probably looking at my mouth all the time so yes I know it's better for YouTube but no it's not better for me to film myself um, so the other way it is so yeah I'm just going to walk past that little area camp area and keep going to Juana Ryoki. Then I suppose I'll stay over in there. That would be 20 kilometers walked tomorrow, 25 kilometers. The day after that, 25 and the last 30. Um, it, it is going to be only 105 kilometers, and the whole trail is um, 110. So I will get five kilometers from, from somewhere, but because. I don't have proper maps, I don't know where I am, I don't know where I'm going. Um, I know where I'm going, but still. Um, I don't have a proper map, I'm just relying on pictures from <laughs> Google, <laughs> like other people's maps. Um, so that's why I don't know the exact, the exact kilometers until I have actually walked that distance. But sure, it is what it is. So, that is, if you can see anything because of the sun, that is the Autiotopa, but it's the old one and they are going to take it off use and those ones are the new Autiotopa and probably like uh, that you can actually book a cottage, but those ones are the new ones. So. Yeah, they look great. So this is where you need to find those little poles with the orange tip on the top of it in order to know which way to go. They're maybe half liter, half meter tall. So I stopped in Sariarvi, like you saw already. Um, I think Guanarioki is like 10 kilometers from there. Um, so that's where I'm heading. If I can, and I'm not too tired, I might keep going to Mekonjärvi, <laughs> which is, well, I'll be walking 15 kilometers. So, in fairness now, it would be only like 15 kilometers extra. Um, and the real distances, I have actually no idea. Like I said earlier, that, um, yeah. I don't do distances, maps, anything. I had a little map on my phone screen and uh, I used my finger to measure the distances. So in a way for me to know average where or how much should I be walking each day. So yeah, it's either 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers. Let's see. So this is how far I've come. Sana is over there. And I have walked, I don't even know, like 17, 18, 19 kilometers maybe, with that little two kilometer extra thing. Um, can I zoom it out a little bit? Nope. Okay, so I just saw I just saw two lads um, going past me. They went off the trail because they are going from peak to peak. 
and uh, yeah, they had started hour and a half before me, or was it just hour before me? Maybe an hour before me, and they caught me up already. So yeah, that's how slowly I've been going. Um, I was just not rinsing my toes, but I needed to sit down for a second and put my toes in the water little stream and I was just sitting there and uh, my feet are losing skin so I suppose I'll take them tomorrow where am I? there um, and I think I managed to get one blister on my big toe already so I'll try not to pop it because um, It is what it is. After it is, I'm not going to use these shoes anymore, that's for sure. Yada yada, I have no idea where is Kuanaryoki. I am going to the right direction. I'll be walking see um, 20 kilometers so it should be in the next five maybe definitely in the next five kilometers but I don't know where it could be because I'm on the top of the hill I know in a, on a, some sort of elevation map it looks like when I get up I need to go down a little bit but then again, how much down and how much is a little bit? Um, I still don't know where the peak is, because if we think about it... Um, oh, I actually can't tell you because I can't see Sana anymore. But Sana, it's uh, really... Oh, there's a fly on my arm. Um, it's really far away and I'll be walking 20k. So... Uh, Another 20k. I basically shouldn't be able to see it, so there is a chance um, that where you can see the snow up there and the gap over there, um, that I'll be walking down the gap and it's somewhere on the other side of the mountains. I think that's the only option because I can't see anything that is like 25 30 kilometers away from oh me. yeah snow and it's not the same snow as in the pyrenees it's actually just soft and you can actually like throw it properly yes oh i would love to just lie down in here oh so i was told that the terrain on the next 10k it's good so I am um, I got to Kuanarioki but um, whoop, I am actually going to go to Mekonjärvi I heard that there oh, the other path it's not good so I shouldn't be staying there I should sleep straight in the tent which I don't mind um, so This is what it is. Um, the views between Guanarioki and Mekonjärvi, like we would say in Finland. So it's full of nothing. The whole trail is full of nothing. Um, when I tell people, oh, when you visit Finland, you should go to Lapland. This is not a nut, what I mean. Um, not this north, because there is absolutely nothing like there is no... Huh, absolutely nothing, yeah! But um, we're peaceful and quiet, but still, I don't mean this north. I mean like, you know, Rovaniemi, Levi, Ruko, 
um, Ullas Pallas, that sort of area where there's actually like trees growing. There's <laughs> nothing in here. And the two lads that were in a cottage in Guanarioki, they said that on the way to Mekonjärvi, um, there is a, not a river crossing, but a, a stream crossing um, where you can't get like across it without getting your feet wet. So you definitely should take your shoes off and blah blah blah. But <laughs> I made it, I managed to get across it with my shoes on, with my shoes dry. Um, yeah, so I suppose I can do impossible things. Although on the way back, I don't think I can do it because the rock that I jumped on, um, it was kind of something where it was easy to land on the way back. It wouldn't, or it would be the rock uh, where I jumped from. So yeah, I think I just have to like get my feet wet on the way back. But that would be kind of, um, I suppose, early. Or like, not that I've been walking like um, 20 kilometers. It would be earlier than that if I leave from Mekonjärvi on day four. So day four, um, I should be walking from Mekonjärvi to to, to, to Kirpisjärvi. But because now, today I did 10 kilometers, or I will do, I'm doing 10 kilometers extra. Um, I might try to sort out something else. So the last day I would actually have like a short day. So maybe I can try to walk in a way that um, I'll stay in Guanarioki the last night or Saariarvi or something like that. We'll see because I feel a feeling that I'm getting lots of blisters. So we'll see how fast I can go for the rest of the trip. I hope I'm going down there. No idea, but I hope so. I'm tired. No, no, I will up. Viiriydytty on teltta on pystyssä, ruoat on melkein syöty. Tää on ihan hyvä tää tälläin ähm, Dicatlanin ähm, mashed potatoes with mincemeat. Ähm, it's probably plus 30 degrees in the tent. It's, mm, it's like really roasting. But the uh, open cottage, open hut, whatever, um, it's warm as well. And it's still, the sun is still shining, um, like really up high, so luckily I took my sleeping mask. Um, there's two, two guys in the same camp, and uh, it's their, their day two, um, it's my day one, and we're still in the same place. So. Walk faster, harder.